Hey, what's happening everyone? Ken here and today we are going to go over uh, Stephen Beastie's Cross Sections Man of War, the 25th anniversary edition. And this is a pretty good size. It's a pretty big book as far as the dimensions. It's only a few pages, but it's a lot of detailed illustrations and artwork. And this was published by DK and it's a series by Beastie. And this one focuses a lot on uh, the different uh, ships and boats. And if you watched my previous videos, I was telling you guys about how I was, I've been doing a lot of research on pirates and ships and boats and things like that. So this is part of uh, kind of that research and really looking into the inside of ships and how they're designed and things like that. And Stephen Beastie just does an amazing job of illustrating and also compiling all the information of how uh, the day-to-day, -day, you know, lives of uh, these um, buccaneers, how they go about with their life and how the ship is utilized and how they turn it into their living quarters, as well as for uh, travel, transportation, and things like that. So let's go over this book. Again, it's a nice big size, almost like if you uh, familiar with the Where's Waldo type books, it's, it's a little bit smaller, I believe, but it packs a lot of information, and I wish it was even bigger. So DK Penguin uh, Random House, Stephen Beastie's Cross Section, Man of War. And here we have the author, Richard Platt, which I believe they've done a few books together. So here it's actually pretty cool. It shows you the different decks. They've got the poop deck, the quarter deck, the forecastle, upper gun deck, middle deck, lower deck, orlop deck, hold. So all the different parts of the ship. And it even has different uh, trivia informational stuff that uh, you might find useful just to kind of really figure out what is going on in a ship. So this one, it says, the, the Anatomy of a Man of War. And it has the names of all the different parts, which is pretty important if you are, you know, trying to write a story about ships or pirates or things like that. Just using those kinds of terminologies and being familiar with them is very important. So here it shows us again, same thing, the dispensary, the ballast. The manger shows you where the animals are stored um, during travel. Extra rations, washing clothes, foremast. And really, if you, you can see the detail, he does a job. And I believe when he illustrates these, they're a pretty good size, really big size, so he can get into the details of each each illustrations. So here it talks about cooking and eating. <laughs> right here it talks about maggots and biscuits and how they get rid of maggots. How fresh food is transported. The typical menu on a ship. Loaf of bread, dried peas, Bowl of oatmeal, butter, piece of cheese, salted beef, bowl of oatmeal on Wednesdays and Fridays, butter, piece of cheese, more dried peas. So it looks like dried peas is, is there for a lot of the days here. So here it talks about leisure and supplies. So how the supplies are stored, all the different things and activities that they do to keep themselves occupied and keep themselves busy. Because when they're traveling, it takes them months to get from one place to the other. Working at sea, all the different things that could happen and what they do to fix it. Like, for example, really interesting here, we've got killing rats is kind of a, a big deal because a lot of the rats will eat their food 
or destroy supplies, so they have to get rid of them. Here, what, what happens when there's a battle? How all of the cannons are positioned, everybody getting ready. I mean, it's really, it's really cool just to see all the details in this illustration. Sleeping quarters. So here, kind of like the barracks. So it says here, um, oh wow, it says here, amputation. The worthwhile surgery was amputating, cutting off arms and legs whenever something happens. If you get an, if you're have an internal injuries, usually cause infections. And they were, yeah, operating on internal injuries usually caused infections that were more deadly than the injuries themselves. So don't get hurt while you're at the ocean or at sea because um, your chances of surviving was very slim. Navigation and discipline. So it talks about different navigation equipment, compass, charts, log line, the log book. the officers, all the different ranks, lieutenants, captains, admirals. And that's the end of that. You got the glossary and the index. And as you can see, it's not a lot of page count, 30 pages or so, but It'll take you some time just to uh, to look at every every bit of detail in each of these pages. Let me see if I can turn on the autofocus and then uh, maybe we can get closer on this. I won't let me do it, guys. My camera will not go closer on these illustrations. But it's a really cool book, and uh, I got a couple more of. Stephen Beastie's books, so we can uh, go through them in the other videos. So I hope you like this one, and we're going to have a few more to go through. Thanks.